Hello again. Uh, this time I'm going to explain a bit more about the select statement. What I've done behind your back is I have actually added several teams to uh, to our teams table. So we had three teams before, but now we have nine. I just added, you know, different uh, several teams with different names and you know captains and uh, establishment dates. I noticed that I just you know, that I actually made a mistake and you know I have two teams with the exact same name for the team captain yeah Londoners and Oxford United but what we'll do is we'll actually take advantage of that and show an example on how to use a small trick in select we'll actually yeah that that's useful we'll make we'll, we'll make the most of it and you have a useful uh, example now let's just for example now try to for example if we want to have a list of all the teams which were established in the last three years so what we can do is we're speaking about dates now because we're speaking about the last three years we can actually find uh, you know teams which were established in the last three years using the year part of the date and the way to do that is uh, uh, MySQL has this year function which, which extracts a year the year part from uh, from from the date. So what I can do is I can say select star from team. So give me all the teams where the year from now. So this year minus the year of the establishment date is less than three. So I only want you know teams which were created in the last three years. I hope that makes sense. That I'm subtracting this year, subtract it minus the year of the establishment date of that team, and I want the difference to be less than three or maybe we can say less than equal less than or equal three we can see that uh, I'm sorry there's a typo here establishment yes establishment yes 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 true I can't blame it there's a typo establishment well spotted and then we do that again and there you go these are the teams which were created in the last three years. I remember we did actually less than or equal. If we say less than only, and then do that again, we notice uh, the number of years actually less. Why? Especially using two years now rather than three years because we said less than three. So I hope that makes sense. We can use the year function to extract the year part from the date, and now function now gives us the uh, you know this year this date uh, now should be actually a capital case because that's also uh, a keyword or a function that's in my SQL now let's say I want to have the team which was established first so the team with the smallest or with the earliest establishment date now obviously is this team here in 2007 but how do I know what if that uh, team was somewhere at the bottom or somewhere in the middle well what I can do is I can order the table ascendingly and choose the first row only okay so I can limit the number of rows that are coming back as a result of my select statement I can limit the number of rows the number of records that are returned by select statement and I can do that using uh, the limit keyword yes so I can order them using the order by keyword order by what order by a certain field or a certain column and then I can specify what type of ordering do I want descending or ascending ascending is ASC and DESC for descending and the limit by one meaning give me back only the first result after you order them so if I actually execute that I will get only the first one just to show you that I can order things either descendingly or ascendingly without limiting the result I can just say or maybe we can actually say give me the first three results so you can actually make sure that it's actually working yes and that gives us the first three ones ordered by creation date or establishment date so what I can do is I can cancel that so we can see the whole table ordered by establishment date I mean if I just select start everything you'll be able to see the difference now so the difference now is that uh, you have to, to 
2007, 2008, and here 2007, 2014. This is not ordered, and this is ordered by the establishment date. And I can also order it descendingly. So DESC, which will give me, you know, the first, the, the team which was created the latest as the first record. And I can also limit that if I want. I can say, for example, limit, let's say five, give me the first five teams which were created the latest, or the, maybe the latest teams that were created and, the, and I have that or I can actually have the five ones which were created the earliest ascending ASC and I can do that I hope that makes sense now we said we made a mistake and we have two teams with the exact same number well we can actually use the keyword group by which will group them and give me only one of them so with this in this statement what I have is this I have select star from teams table and then group by another keyword in, 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 in MySQL team captain so these two guys will be grouped together but what I'm doing here I'm ordering by team name yeah so I'll order things by team name which means from these two it will only choose one of them my ordering now is descending so order by team name in descending order and give me only the first five results if you see the result now it give me the first five results ordered by team name and it's descending order so starting by W before O and O before L I hope that makes sense if I do ascending order you see the result is different yes uh, if I don't group by if I don't group by uh, 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 team captain so the uh, Ronnie Shelby will not be, be grouped by the other one then you will be able to see the difference if I don't or group by team captain and order by team name ascending uh, in fact the result should be obvious in the descending order and you can see now I have the two Ronnie Shelby's uh, because I didn't actually group them together and teams now are ordered by the uh, team name ordered in descending order. I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.